I say Karate Illuminati, this is Noah, and I feel we need to have a little bit of a discussion about Olympic boxer Imane Khalif from Algeria. You see, she's gone viral for defeating her Italian opponent yesterday in under 50 seconds uh, because she landed two punches and her opponent decided that hurt too much uh, and she gave up. This resulted in a storm of controversy and a bunch of very misleading headlines regarding Imane Khalif and claiming that she is transgender. I have seen so many posts and videos calling this woman a man and trying to shame her for fighting women and beating up women when she's a man. And she's not. Imane Khalif was born a woman. She has been a woman her entire life. She is not transgender. And if she had been born a man, she's from Algeria. It is illegal to transition in Algeria. She could not be a transgender person in Algeria. Now, she does have a medical condition that causes her testosterone levels to be unusually high, uh, but that does not make her a man. I've also read that she may have a condition where her chromosomes don't fully match her sexual presentation. This is something that does happen. It isn't the most common thing. Uh, but despite what we may have learned in junior high and high school biology classes, there are actually more chromosome representations than simply XX and XY. What's really happening here is you are seeing a woman with what you consider to be masculine features, which are, to be honest, very common Middle Eastern features, regardless of gender, and you are making the assumption that she must be trans because she is tall, has masculine features, uh, and has high levels of testosterone. She is still, and always has been, a woman, and I can only imagine how hurtful it is for her to see this outpouring of hatred calling her a man. Now, to top that all off, even if she was transgender, the International Olympic Committee has had rules on transgender athletes since, I believe, 2015. And somehow that's not actually been a problem until now. And those guidelines are also based on studies, which are still ongoing, but which indicate that after about two to four years of hormone replacement therapy, any biological advantage someone may have had by being born male is gone. Uh, it's within normal limits, and in some cases is actually lower than cisgender females. So we have guidelines we can follow with regard to transgender athletes. People just don't want to listen to the science because they're offended by the entire idea of trans people existing. And if you think that biological advantages should be a disqualifier from competitive sports, I think that you would have to disqualify a number of other athletes, including Michael Phelps, who doesn't produce as much lactic acid as most people and has a larger lung capacity. Uh, Katie Ledecky is a naturally physically gifted swimmer. Uh, even Simone Biles and her ability to balance and her explosiveness. All of these things are biological advantages that they have. And most high-level athletes have biological advantages over other athletes. That's why they're able to compete at such a high level. There is no such thing as biological equality within either sex, male or female. Now, I realize this has been a long video, and it's probably going to lose me some followers, and that's okay, because we really do need to focus on the facts when these sorts of things occur, because people get all up in their feelings about it. But no matter how you feel about it, this boxer is and always has been a woman. She is not a man who beat up a girl. That's not what happened. Her opponent in that boxing match is noted for having poor defense and poor strategy. This person was a better fighter that day. That's it.